Hi, this is Jim from IP Office Techs. This video will show you how easy it is to connect one of our IP phones to your network. The first thing we're going to do is unbox the phone. Open up the box, put the instructions aside, take out the phone. We'll already have the curly cord already connected. Take it out and put that aside. Inside we'll have a stand, an ethernet cable, and a power supply. In the other part of the box we'll have the handset. Take that out. Put that aside. Now we can put the box aside. Okay, now we'll start undoing everything. Take the power cord out. Take the, the little connect the strap off, twist tie. Get that ready. Take out your Ethernet cord. Also remove the twist ties. Next thing I suggest is to take the original packaging, lay it on the table so you don't damage the lens, flip it upside down, and put it down. Now we're going to connect the power cord. The power cord goes into the only plug that is round. That's plugged in. Then while you're here, put the stand in, the sign, the A-Link uh, logo, goes into the first two slots. You see there's two slots here. So we'll go into the two slots and slide to the right. Then we can flip the phone over. Next thing we'll do is we'll connect the handset. Just snaps right into place. Snap. Place it like this. Next thing we'll do is unravel our ethernet cord. The next thing we'll do is flip the phone over and plug it into the jack that says PC. Make sure the tab is facing up. This is the PC jack. The next thing we're going to do is turn the power off on your PC. You can use the mouse to use the start bar and turn it off normally, or if your PC works in that fashion, you can press the power button to turn it off. Now we're going to locate the Ethernet cable. We do understand you might have to crawl under a desk or it might be a little bit removed from your PC, but the Ethernet cable is, is on, plugged into the back of your PC, and it's usually the cable that has two lights blinking on it that shows that there's Ethernet activity, whether your PC is turned on or off. And just like the other cables, there's a clip that you push in and pull it out. Now, there's a chance that your Ethernet cable might look a little bit different than the one we had. It might be a blue cable with a clip that you have to depress to pull it out, or a white cable, or pretty much any other color. Sometimes there's a little protector piece here, and you've got to be careful to make sure that's pressed before you can pull it out. Now, the cable that we took out, we're going to put over by our phone. While I'm back here, I'll take the black cable that I plugged into the phone, plugged into the PC jack, and I'm going to plug it into the jack that was vacated by the wire we pulled out earlier. The next thing we'll do is we'll take the transformer that's plugged into the back of the phone and plug it into the power strip. Now we'll walk ourselves back to the front of the phone. And plug the ethernet cable that had previously been plugged into your computer into the internet jack on the back of the phone. At this point you can flip the phone over and you'll notice that it's lighting up starting to boot up already. You can replace the handset and we'll watch it go through its boot up process. When your phone comes up, it will look like this. 
To test your phone, all you need to do is to dial a number. We like to use a number that we can call for the Sprint service that tells us what phone number we're dialing from. That number is 800-444-4444. And then press send. If everything's connected properly, you will hear. Thank you for calling MCI. Our system indicates you are calling from 4142062. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If there is any help you need with it, please give us a call and we'll walk you through the rest of the setup. Thank you and have a great day.